Hi guys, and welcome back to the Trope Show, where we talk about tropes and cliches. Now, because I can't remember what I said this topic would be about, I'm changing the topic to Chosen Ones. You know, the uh, destined chosen hero who is destined to win the war against evil and save the world. There are many examples of chosen ones in the realm of fiction. And we're going to go over some of them in tonight's episode. And let's use as our prime example, Harry Potter. Who by the age, who at the age of 15 months lost his parents in an attack by the Dark Lord Voldemort. He tried to kill him, and because his mum threw himself in her way, he became marked with a lightning scar and cursed. But blessed also with the sacrificial love of his mum coursing through his blood. Now, he became the chosen one in the story because Voldemort heard part of a prophecy that said the one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches. And he assumed from that that Harry was to be the chosen one. So he actually chose Harry as his equal when it could have meant another boy in Harry's year, Neville Longbottom. Okay. Now, in Star Wars, we have two cases of this happening. In one case, we have young Anakin Skywalker of the prequels being the one destined to bring balance to the Force by destroying the Sith, only to then grow up and turn to the Sith, allowing himself to be seduced into joining, of course. Therefore, not bringing balance to the Force, but destroying it. And then in the original trilogy, we have Luke Skywalker... who became the chosen one, who became the new hope after learning of his father. And he actually did go and restore peace to the galaxy by destroying the Death Star. Spoilers for those who may not have seen the films. What are you watching this for? Okay. Next up, we have... Not a chosen one, but a chosen four. The Pevensey children in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. They go through the back of an old wardrobe into a magical land where they cross over into a hundred year long winter, but no Christmas. And are basically told by the, be by the beavers that they're the chosen ones in a prophecy... It's all down to this again. In a prophecy that states that they were chosen and destined to conquer the White Witch and restore peace to Narnia. And then obviously take the thrones as kings and queens. And you only need one guess as to how that ends. Okay. And then, of course, we go back to Chosen One, Buffy Summers, in 
Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who's the chosen one in a war against vampires and other kinds of monsters. Well, vampires being the prime ones. It's in the title of the show. And it's a generational thing. In every generation, there's a chosen one. And she's guided on her dangerous mission by a watcher. Uh, that job actually changes hands twice over the course of the series. So... Yes, in every generation, it says. So, yeah, we're not going to work out who the Slayer is before Buffy. Because that's not what we're here for. Right. Oh. We can also do chosen ones who are chosen not by a prophecy, but by a mentor to fight against evil. So in this case, I'm going to include the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and almost every group of Power Rangers thereafter who were chosen by their mentors, be it Zordon, a giant floating head in a jar, what, a tube, or a human mentor, or an alien mentor, as they're chosen to be the team of rangers to fight against whichever evil villain is the main villain of the season. So we have Rita Repulsa, Lord Zed, Master Vile, Rito, and a whole slew of other villains and a different team of rangers every season after Mighty Morphin. And specifically in a whole new team for the first time after In Space. And again, the Rangers are chosen to fight against evil, not because of a prophecy, but because they have attitude, I guess, and they're the best for the jobs. They're teenagers. What makes you think teenagers are going to be best for any job? With the exceptions of a couple of teams. <laughs> Okay, now I almost forgot to mention this, Percy Jackson in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series is this to his universe, as a prophecy clearly states in the, in the storyline that he is destined to win the big war against the Titans at the end of the series. At least I think it's against the Titans. And in the books, this is to happen on his 16th birthday. In the films, they changed it to his 20th because he's 17 at the start of the series in the films. Okay. Um, he starts the books at the age of 12. Still a lot of responsibility. Yeah. For a boy who's just found out he's a demigod. And then he grows up to find out he's a chosen one. Okay. <laughs> um. Now, if I've missed any Chosen Ones out of this topic, 
let me know in the comment below. But we're going to end the episode right here. There are certain chosen ones that I would like to have mentioned but couldn't for obvious reasons. So in that case, the next episode should be out next week, but you won't find out till then what the topic's going to be. Until then, though, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have us a magical time.